Let's bring in our first guest, Bob Parker, Investment Committee member from Coalfest Wealth Management. Uh, Bob, well, I actually want to start off asking you about all in all the whole that coronavirus situation that the world uh, has found itself in this year. When I think about it, the world is pretty much divided into two axes. You've got those countries that were able to deal with the pandemic pretty early and economically are in a better shape now. And then you've got the rest of the world, and I very much put UK in that bucket, UK, Europe, and even US, who are still faced with mounting cases on a daily, on a daily basis, rising number of hospitalizations, and an accompanying weakness in the economy. So when you think about those two axes as an investor, does that incentivize you to steer clear of the economies and the countries that are str still struggling with the coronavirus pandemic as of now? Um, I think looking back over 2020, that certainly has been a theme. And you know, if one looks at most of the Asian countries and also New Zealand, um, you know, Asia was very quick to deal with the uh, coronavirus. And if you look at actually the data, uh, during you know, November and December on new cases and fatalities, uh, you know, the numbers are very low in Asia. Obviously, the one exception to that is India, which has been struggling for most of the year uh, in dealing with the uh, coronavirus. Um, but I think your comment on you know, the United States, the UK, the European Union is absolutely correct. Um, you know, the authorities in those countries, and you know, one can also include countries, I mentioned India, but also Brazil, um, you know, those governments have been slow to deal with the virus um, and there has been obviously quite a significant catch up effect. Now, as an investor, I think it's quite interesting to note that this year uh, there have been two sort of themes of outperformance in global equity markets. Uh, the first has obviously been the tech sector. And if you just look at, you know, year to date performance of the Nasdaq versus the S&P, uh, you know, you've got a dramatic difference in uh, investment performance. The second, obviously, area of outperformance uh, has been Asia. So there has been actually a good correlation between um, government's ability and speed to deal with the virus um, and what has happened in their capital markets. Plus, obviously, if one looks at it sector by sector, um, no, there have been clear areas um, which have benefited um, from what has happened in 2020, and the tech sector obviously stands out. 